hello, you may notice something different about me. Um, I'm only wearing one necklace. No, I'm sure that wasn't what you noticed. By the way, there's a dog over there. Right, uh, depending on when this goes up, um, you probably haven't seen this before. I dyed my hair. As you can tell, uh, well, technically I only dyed, <coughs> like, the top part of it. Um, and it turned out like this. And I thought I was done dyeing my hair, because I haven't done that in, like, three years coming up. Or, like, in a natural colour. I've dyed it brown and stuff. I thought I was done dyeing it like this, because... Well, I thought I had grown out of that, and uh, I also felt like it's such a stereotypical trans thing to do, and I didn't really want to do that then. Uh, nothing wrong about being stereotypical, I just didn't feel comfortable with that. And I was like, no, never dye my hair in natural colour again. And then last night, I was on um, Pinterest, and I came across this one photo, which wasn't even that good of a photo, it was just a photo of a person with blue hair. And I was like, well, I, I actually can't remember if it was blue even, just like dyed some colour. Um, and I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. And then the thought just kind of like came to me. This was at nearly 12 a.m. So uh, I texted my best friend and I was like, what should I do? Should I do it? And she was like, go for it, but sleep on it for a night and then see if you feel the same way tomorrow. The morning after, I did feel the same way. <laughs> Not that many hours had passed by, but a whole night of sleep, or like half a night, because I didn't get that much sleep, um, passed, and I still felt that way about it, so I found this um, manic panic hair dye in my bathroom that's like two and a half years old, and I couldn't find an expiration date, so I'm just hoping for the best. Uh, and I dyed it today after school. And I really like it, like it's almost ridiculous how much I like it. Um, because usually whenever I dye my hair or cut it or something like that, I'm not very good with change, so it takes some time to get used to it and start liking it. But this, I actually really like, so that's sweet. Um, and today's video is, wait, just checking out my dog, is actually inspired by my hair. By the way, I dyed it myself. I don't know if I said that, and I think I did like a decent job with like dyeing the top part um, blue and leaving the rest. Um, today's video is actually inspired by my hair, because um, I got a comment on my uh, photo that I put on Instagram, um, sort of like revealing the hair, if you will. I'm just going to find it. Um, and um, this person meant it as a compliment, I'm very sure, but I didn't take it as a compliment, so although I'm sure that person had good intentions, it just, um, it, it's not taken as a compliment, and I'm going to explain why in this video. So, uh, I got a comment that said, dating someone who was transgender isn't really my thing, and I have no clue why, but when I saw you, I know that maybe I'll be able to date trans people if they are, are as soft looking at you. Wait, if they are as soft looking as you, Ubu, you are so heckling adorable. Ah. Uh, with like, when I say Ubu, I mean like that face. I'm not going to show you like who commented that, because it's just, I don't want people to like uh, go after them go after them, I suppose. But, the reason why I didn't take that as a compliment is the whole if they are all as soft as you, ooh. Um, basically, when I was younger, I guess I was sort of more into that small bean, because I remember when I was like 14 and I had bright blue hair, she didn't really say anything, I just dyed mine blue, but I looked like like this, I was kind of like, oh, I'm so small, like that, it was a terribly dark time, as you can tell, but, um, I was like, oh, I'm so small, like, S-M-O-L, and I was kind of into that, I suppose, and I remember a few years back, I made a video called, I'm a soft boy and that's okay, where I talked about how I'm not a very masculine guy, and... Uh, I don't really fit in with the guys, if you will, because I'm 
like guys are generally more like socially at least they're a bit more rough with each other especially younger guys around the age of like 14 the guys in my class and I were just completely different we behaved completely differently and I didn't fit in with them and I saw myself as like softer than them because I didn't hit people um now it's a, like a bit better though but um I see this a lot with trans boys especially or trans men um people call us soft a lot as a compliment like small bean soft boy with an eye uh ooh, ooh, soft boy flower prince stuff like that uh and i'm not saying that like no trans guys are into that because there's definitely exceptions i knew that i was an exception when i was a lot younger um but now it just makes me very very uncomfortable and other trans guys i've talked to it makes them very very uncomfortable as well uh when people say stuff like that um and i'm just gonna explain it from my point of view so when people call me like small bean and stuff like that it makes me feel really dysphoric because I know that they are very unlikely to say that to a cis guy. I knew that it would come something like that when I dyed my hair blue and that I would be like, oh, soft small bean, and which is also partially why I haven't wanted to dye it because I don't want to be seen as like small. Um, but right, it's just, it's very unlikely that people would say that to a cis guy and uh, what that sort of shows is that I feel like people don't see trans guys as real guys a lot and that we're just seen as small, soft boys, especially pre-transition or if you have a baby face like me, but my voice has dropped a bit now so I guess I get that less, but like in general I feel like it's a lot pre-transition. Um, it makes me dysphoric because it just means that naturally I look a lot like softer than cis guys uh, I'm a fairly short guy compared to other guys especially in Norway I'm 5'5 five five, which is 166 uh, ish centimeters uh, and in comparison to the Norwegians at all right so in comparison to like all the guys in my school or most guys in my school I'm like here they're like here like they're huge um, and I know that my physical traits are softer because I am biologically female. I'm a bit shorter than most guys. Uh, I have a bit more fat because of just how the female body works. Um, I'm a bit softer around the edges <laughs> and I have a baby face. And uh, well, my voice isn't as soft anymore, but I do feel like I have sort of a... People tell me that, that I have a fairly like smooth voice I suppose which is a huge compliment by the way that is a compliment I do take that as a compliment although I feel insecure about it a lot I do take that as a compliment but um it just makes me dysphoric because I know that you likely wouldn't say that to a biological man because you see him as any other man but with me you see, see me as this soft little thing uh which makes me uncomfortable because I'm just a teenage guy I'm just like any other teenage guy Please treat me as such. Uh, I just, you know, I I listen to my bands. I do my homework. I hang out with mates. Sometimes <laughs> I watch stupid YouTube videos. I'm just like any other teenage guy. And any other teenage guy doesn't want to, well, most teenage guys, doesn't want to be called, like, small and, like, soft. Because we all want to be handsome men, you know? It feels very belittling when you're called small bean or soft boy ubi. And I know that people maybe don't think that through and they mean it as a compliment because they think I'm like cute. Which I don't mind being called cute in a different setting. Um, but just it does feel very belittling when I'm called that um, and the other way around is also not good which I wanted to talk about for a while on my channel now um, 
When I was early in my transition, it was really nice to hear things like, you're valid. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if some people watching this are going to laugh right now because we joke about the valid thing a lot. I hate the word valid now because it just gets thrown around a lot. And to me, it's not like a compliment. No offense has said this as well. Like, valid is like at the very, like, it's the least thing you can, wait, no, he didn't put it like that. I'm, I'm Norwegian. I'm not native English speaking speaker, but it's like, of course you're valid. Like that's at the very base of what a person is. And, um, it's just who you are. And as I said, at the very beginning of my transition, it felt really nice to hear that, that I'm a valid guy or whatever, but I've lived as a guy for, I don't know, three, three years now openly. Um, four years, like, lived as a guy on the internet coming up. Uh, or more than that, I actually, I don't know, but I know I've been out for nearly three years. Um, and I've lived as a guy for that long. This is just my reality now. You don't need to tell me that I'm a valid guy, because that makes me feel like I'm not a valid guy, because you need to reassure me that I'm valid. You wouldn't walk up to any other teenage guy and be like, you're valid. Or not, you're valid. You wouldn't be like, oh, you're so valid. You're such a valid guy. You look so masked, which I also know is a compliment. Like, oh, Kovi, you look so masculine today. And it's like, my goal isn't to look masculine. Like, I know I'm not a very masculine guy. You don't need to tell me that I'm masculine. I know that you're telling me that I'm masculine because I'm a trans guy. And that that's a compliment. And... I'm sorry if I sound really ungrateful right now because I know that people have good intentions but I just want to talk to you about it so that we can like so that this cannot happen because it does make me uncomfortable as I said at the beginning of my transition hearing yourself like you look masculine today you passed today felt really good because I, I wanted to pass for my own safety you know but now it just seems weird, like, I wouldn't walk up to my brother and be like, Hey, Christopher, you look very masculine today. Um, and another thing, and again, I'm sorry if I sound ungrateful, because I know you have good intentions and I appreciate you so much, but every single video I've posted since I started T, which it's been, like, over a year now, um, it's been like, Oh my god, your voice is so low, and I don't want you to, like, attack anyone who comments this because again people have really good intentions but it's like i see that that's honestly most of my comments i feel like on my videos it's just oh my god your voice is so low i haven't been here in a while your voice is so low and i'm sure there will be comments like this on this video as well please don't comment on them just ignore them because they do mean wow but it's just sort of annoying because i'm just a guy i'm just living my life as a guy now Hearing these things keep reminding me that I'm trans. I'm sure there are people who enjoy hearing that, but unless people have specifically stated like, hey, this would make me feel good, don't say that to a trans guy. Please don't. It just sounds kind of weird, and it kind of sucks when, like, that's all people see me as. Even, like, mental health-related videos that I make that have nothing to do with me being trans at all. It's just like, oh, your voice has gotten so deep. Your voice is so much deeper now. I do appreciate, like, I'm not saying that I don't appreciate things or people commenting on my voice at all because I'm a very, uh, or what's that called, auditorial person. I like audio and I have a thing for soothing voices. And when people tell me that my voice is soothing or calming or relaxing or rich, someone called my voice rich the other day and I was like, oh my god, that's so sweet. I really, really, really appreciate compliments on my, on my voice, but... Your voice sounds so deep, isn't really like a, I don't know, yeah, I've been through puberty. It's kind of what happens, and I'm, again, really sorry if I sound ungrateful right now, but I just want you to, it kind of sucks when all people see you as is trans, like, no matter what I do, it's just that I'm trans, you're my favourite trans YouTuber, and, like, things like that. Uh, or you're my favorite trans person. I don't think about the fact that I'm trans anymore. I just live my life. I mean, I have certain things that I do pay attention to, like my chest and stuff like that, that I need to 
compensate for in my well not com compensate for but that I need to sort of, I need to dress sort of a certain way or not really because Mother Nature has blessed me with a small chest, which I'm so grateful for. I need surgery still though, but like in general, like there's not that much there. I just can't wear super tight shirts and I'm good, you know? I don't really think about the fact that I'm trans anymore. So it kind of sucks when I, I'm reminded of that all the time, and it's not necessarily that I'm ashamed of it either. It's just kind of like, I'm more than that. What I see my tr trans situation as is that being trans, to me, I know there's tons of different opinions on this. Being trans to me, it's just a medical thing. To me, that's all that it is. I don't identify as trans. I know that I'm trans. I'm not like naive. I know that I'm trans. I knew that I. Oh, I know that I've gone from one gender to another. I know that I used to live as a girl, and I know I'm a boy now. And I know I went through that transition. But I don't identify as a trans guy. I'm just a guy, and I see the trans thing as entirely medical thing. I'm not trying to make a political statement with it. I'm not trying to like prove something by being trans. It's not a choice. It's just that I have this medical condition um, called gender dysphoria that I've I needed treatment for and that I still need treatment for in the, um, in, in, in the form of hormones and surgery in the future because I'm a guy. My body just doesn't produce the right hormones for me to go through the right puberty and I've needed medical treatment for that and now that I've gotten that I live a normal life for the most part there's nothing more to it like that's entirely how I see it I don't think about being trans I don't think about gender anymore and that's when I talk about it on this channel because uh, you want to hear about it why I feel like I have something to share because I you know I've learned from my experiences so in that regard it has shaped me but at the end of the day to me it's just a medical thing um, and I know that it's partially my fault for, or that I get this stuff online because I, it's been my choice to share things about it and be, and be open about it. And of course, I really appreciate that, um, I really appreciate it when people say they look up to me or that I've inspired them to come out or transition, uh, or that I've helped them in some way by being open about being trans, uh, be less ashamed of themselves or whatever like that means everything to me because I know how much uh, people I saw online helped me while I was going through my transition and I was scared and I it really helped seeing people like me but at the same time it's just I've struggled with this a bit before I've talked about it a bit before kind of sucks when all people see you as <coughs> <coughs> is your gender identity <coughs> and a medical, medical situation. <coughs> I've been sick recently. I'm very surprised that my voice lasted for this long. Because I've been coughing all day. And I'm very grateful that I got this out of my system. I think my body is now trying to tell me... <coughs> you done talking, you have nothing more to say. Good job, Kobe. So, um, I'm going to go now. Thank you so much for watching this video. I know people have good intentions, okay? I just want to be open about it. Again, I'm not trying to, like, bitch about it or be mean or tell you, wow, like, wow, wow. No, I'm not trying to say, like, oh, fuck you if you say these things to me. That's not at all what I'm trying to say because I know that people have good intentions and I appreciate your intentions so much. But sometimes, even if you have good intentions, you may not fully... <coughs> understand how other people feel about it and then I hope you appreciate that I explain to you how I do feel about it because I know we have good intentions that's why I want to be uh, honest about how I and a lot of other trans guys take it so yeah that's it okay thank you so much for watching I hope it was helpful in some way please leave a comment thank you so much for all your support and love and acceptance through the years really really appreciate it it means the absolute world to me and you definitely did like a huge part of the reason why i'm still here at all and that was able to dye my hair blue for the third time so thank you for that um hope you're having a good day stay safe and eat drink and do not hurt yourselves and remember that you are so much more than every day seriously and i'll talk to you later bye also my dog says bye bye dolphin Oh, bye. <laughs>